Hey everybody, I'm going to do a review real quick on a couple Sigma brushes and also a Sigma Sigmax bag, I think it's called, but it's nighttime right now, so I don't have any good lighting, um, so sorry about that, but you'll just have to bear with me. Um, I'm really excited to do this review because I've been trying these three brushes out for the longest time, and it comes... And it comes in a collection of three like this. And so these are the three brushes. And I would have to say that these are probably my favorite Sigma brushes from Sigma that I own. And the reason for that being is because number one, I feel like I can use them for so many different things, not just what it says they're supposed to be used for and I also feel like they are so incredibly soft I would actually go as far um, as to say that I think they're as soft as the Eco Tools brushes from Walmart or CVS or Target wherever you get them um, but the Eco Tools in my opinion are the softest brushes I've ever felt in my life and for me to compare a brush to them means that they are very very soft and I would highly recommend them um, so I'm just going to go over each one individually and tell you why I like it and if I don't like it. And I'm going to go in order from which one I like to the least one that I like out of the three. So starting with the one that is my favorite, it's this one and it's the Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki F80 brush. And it looks like this. It's supposed to be like perfectly round, but I used it today, so yeah. Um, and it's got a flat top, which is what I really, really like. And what's nice when you're applying makeup is that the product stays up here. It doesn't flow down to here like a lot of my product does when I use like a, um, a what are those brushes called? A duo fiber brush, yeah. The product stays up top here. It doesn't go into the brush. It goes directly on my face. Um, so that's one thing I like about it. Number two, I definitely like how it's incredibly soft on the face. Like, it just feels like, um, like pillows. I don't know. It just feels like really, really soft. I can't explain it, but see, it just glides on the skin like that. And it's very easy to blend blushes or bronzer or, um, Foundation. My favorite use for this is foundation. I use it today and I love using this brush with the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. I remember in my other video uh, that I did, I mentioned how I didn't like the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse because it made my face look greasy. Well, when you apply it with uh, this brush, um, the spots that I said looked greasy uh, before was because I did it with a duo do a fiber brush but when you do it with this the spots don't look as greasy kind of blend helps blend it in more instead of it just laying on top of your skin so um they're still a little bit greasy looking even though these are the driest parts of my face but i mean it doesn't really bother me it kind of looks more like a glow to me so but uh yeah i use this for blush it's great for blending especially all the way up to the temple you know um on the nose you can use the very corner of it you could do the jawline and um yeah, so everything is very blendable with it. And also, I like to use this for stippling as well. I kind of just stipple the foundation on and then I slowly blend everything in. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite brush. And the only problem that I have with this brush as well as the other two brushes are that it is so difficult to clean. Like, I feel like I have to go through with the soap that I use um, probably like three different times for it to actually be fully washed. I don't know it's, if it's because the bristles are so close together, but it's very hard to clean and it's very time consuming, but these brushes are so well worth it that I use them for like a week and then I wash it. So I get like four to five uses out of it before I actually wash it. Um, and you also, I would recommend washing it with olive oil. Is that what it is? Yeah, olive oil as well because it kind of helps to soften the bristles even though they're already soft. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention is that the bristles do not fall out. Unfortunately, uh, with the Sigma Duo Fiber Brushes, I really, really do like them. The only problem I have is that the hairs tend to fall out every time that I do my foundation. I love the way it applies my foundation. Um, I like the way it applies my blushes and stuff. It's just every time I use it, I get like one or two hairs that fall out and I have to like pick them off my face. But with this one, um, no fallout 
excellent. So the brush that I like second best is the Angle Top Kabuki F80. Looks like this. And it's just like an angle brush. Um, I like to use this one for my bronzer. It fits right in the corner of my, underneath of my cheekbone and I also use it for my nose and my jawline and you can also use it for blush. You just smile and pat it on which is what I did today. Um, so yeah, I love this brush because of the same reasons I like the other one. It's really soft. Um, hairs don't fall out and you can definitely get a lot of different uses out of it for like bronzer or blush. Um, powder, you could also use this for powder under the eyes. It fits right into the crevice of your eyes. I've used it for that as well. Um, yeah. And then this is the one I like least most. As you can tell, I've actually, uh, yeah, I've used it once, but that was it. That's why it's clean, because I, I only cleaned it once and then I stopped using it. Um, it's the Round Top Kabuki F82. And the reason I don't like it is because the fact that it's round top. It's really, really soft like all the other brushes, and the hairs don't fall out. The only problem is that I, I, I don't know what to use it for. I have a really, really dry skin tone. Like, my face peels and cracks right here and right here, and in between my eyebrows. It just... I mean, my face is just really, really dry. So I can't really use this for anything for blending because when I blend too much with bristles that are too close together, it uh, causes lots of dryness and flaking all over my face. So I like blending with this brush because the, br the bristles are a little bit more wider apart and it's kind of like a bigger span. I, I can't explain it, but these are so close together. Definitely not good for dry skin types, but if you have an oily skin type, this would be perfect for you. Um, I, I don't I don't know what I could use this for. I was watching who was I watching? What is her name? Oh, Holly Anna Ree. I was watching Holly Anna Ree's review of these and she said this was her favorite one and that she would recommend you to buy this one um, out of all three of the brushes. I have the completely opposite view. I would not recommend getting this one out of all the three brushes because of the fact that I have a dry skin type. So watch out. Almost all of the gurus on YouTube have an oily skin type. So I think I'm the only person, the only guru on YouTube that has a dry skin type. So you need to not always listen to what gurus say because they are pertaining it to their certain skin type and they forget that everyone has a different skin type. So I have dry skin and I've tried this out and this one doesn't doesn't work that well for dry skin. Um, but if you do have oily skin, I would highly recommend it and I would probably use it for blush and I would use it for a highlight. And I guess you could use it for foundation as well. But yeah, this one's my least favorite, but I would definitely recommend getting all three of these brushes together because um, even if you have combination skin, these probably would all three work for you really well. And I feel like you get a lot of uses out of them. You could do your whole entire face using these three brushes in one day. So for example, I would use this one for foundation. So you got foundation down. I would use this for bronzer. So you got bronzer down. And I would use this one for a blush and a highlight. So there you go. Your whole entire face is done. All you gotta worry about is your eye makeup. So definitely like these three brushes. I would highly recommend them. And you can find them on sigmabeauty.com. And I will put the link below if you guys wanna check them out. But yeah, so far I love these, except for of course, this one. I'm sorry. I don't like you. <laughs> um, oh, and the other thing that I wanted to talk about is this, and it's the Sigmax bag. And this is, um, I think, one of their newest things that they've come out with. Looks like this. This thing is huge. It takes up the whole frame. Like, this thing is huge. Look at it compared to my face. It's like humongo. Um, it's so cute though. Okay, first of all, you guys know I'm obsessed with hearts, right? Heart. So cute! And it says Sigma on it with like beautiful crystal letters. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I love this color. I forget what other colors they have. Probably red, black, and maybe purple. Um, but this blue one is my favorite. It is so gorgeous. And it has a nice little zipper right here. But what I would use it for is actually not what they recommend using it for. They say that you would use this for your makeup brushes to put your makeup in it and stuff, which I can understand. Um, this is what the inside looks like. Really, really nice, um, I guess, fabric, but it's, it's like, 
it's not like a soft fabric it's like a makeup bag fabric like it's um meant for makeup to be in there definitely and i can't really show you but right here there is a zipper that goes all the way across and then on this side and the inside they have a bunch of pockets as you can see and it's pretty big like you could fit a lot of stuff in here the problem is I think this bag is so nice that I, I don't want to ruin it by putting my makeup in it because my makeup always spills everywhere. So actually what I use this for is my hot tools. I'll put all my flat irons in here, my round brushes, my um, hair dryers, everything like that and I put it in here and it fits it perfectly and it's so nice because when I, especially when I go traveling or when I go to my boyfriend's house for the weekend, I always pack like a huge bag and I hate it when all my stuff, like all my hair tools get like... Um, scrambled around in my bag and I have to like lift up all my clothes to find it and stuff it's nice that I can just put them in this bag and then they're good to go so yes love this bag and I think um oh I also wanted to say it has a cute little handle right here on the side so you can just carry it um but yeah that's it love all the products that Sigma sends me as you guys know the Sigma brushes are the only ones I ever use ever I don't own any other brushes that I actually use on a daily basis so um, definitely go check out SigmaBeauty.com because you will not regret it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.